Hi, my name is Matt Herford. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the data fabric powered by NetApp. We've had lots of conversations recently about how NetApp can provide the enablement to a hybrid cloud model, and today I'd like to give you the same vision we've got, but perhaps apply it to a more application or workload-centric view. We'll start off by describing those critical workloads you have in your environment. A lot of organizations run SAP to run their billing or CRM environments. NetApp's also provided support for other critical environments like email. Yes, I know email, but most CIOs will still claim that email is critical to their environment. We also have a lot of data services serving the unstructured data that make up file serving. Increasingly, we're having conversations with customers around analytics and how to get more value from their data. So we'll include analytics as a workload that a lot of organizations are now considering to be important. And then we have those workloads that nobody likes but everybody needs. And we're talking about our friends, the backup and archive environments. So we have a range of workloads ranging all the way from critical to an organization right the way through to merely required for an organization. Now, application workloads are important to our customers. Um, we like to talk about storage. Um, sometimes the things don't meet in the middle. But I will start by talking about the things that perhaps we used to sell you and used to purchase when you were thinking about the types of storage media you need to actually power your applications. And we may have been talking to you about SaaS or Fiber Channel type media. And then in more recent times, we've been having discussions and we've been delivering a lot of hybrid solutions. And NetApp has, in fact, been delivering hybrid solutions since around about 2008. And this is where we put flash technology with spinning disk technology. Increasingly, the conversation is moving on to the flash workloads, the storage platform that happens to be hot right now. We have a number of platforms where we can provide all flash capability. Importantly, NetApp can also provide data services from the cloud. So we can also include the hyperscaler environments, such as AWS or Azure, or we can provide data services from one of the niche cloud players. And we have over 25 service providers in ANZ market alone providing their data management services on NetApp. And these include organizations such as DD or Interactive. So we have a range of platforms and a range of applications. And this is what Data on Tap provides in terms of this data fabric because it glues these things together. It enables you to run cluster data on tap and connect the various application workloads you have to the fabric and then connect the various storage media that make sense to you to the fabric. In this particular example, you're running hybrid, flash, and AWS workloads. Over time, it also provides you the choice to change, provides you that agility. SAS disks won't be with us for much longer. But what will be next? Maybe it will storage class memory. Maybe it will be magnetic shingling drives. The important thing here is that you need to be able to make the choice to plug in the storage media to the future into your data fabric. Your workloads are going to change. Maybe you want to move your email to the cloud environment and reconnect that to the data fabric to a niche service provider environment to provide the data services that are going to power that email. The important thing here is that you can run any application on any protocol using any storage media anywhere you like on your terms. And that's the power of a NetApp data fabric. Thank you.